Hello guys, we are back on Ghost of Tsushima. So we now have the latest update or patch note uh, version 1.1. The update includes new game modes like New Game Plus. So what I'm excited about this is on the New Game Plus is if we can uh, defend uh, Komodo Beach again, uh, ride horse with Uncle Shimura and fight the Mongols while wearing the fund Fundoshi outfit. Okay, so aside from New Game Plus, we also have the Legends mode. So this Legends mode is uh, all about multiplayer online games. So you can play up to four of your friends online. So it's, it's just about a co-op game. So there's no PvP mode yet. So I do hope someday a uh, PvP mode will come. Alright, let's begin. Play the game again with all the techniques, gear, and vanity items obtained on the previous playthrough. Start immediately at the release to this to the open world to pursue new upgrades and vanity items. Difficulty is increased to provide a new challenge. So we will be immediately released to the open world. That means my imagination of defending Komodo Beach again while on underwear will not be possible. So all of our items and abilities acquired from our previous playthrough will also be available like any other new game plus uh, from other games like souls game and god of war 2018 so what i'm sure about this is there's one thing that will not be available on this new game plus or will be removed and that is the grappling hook because it's primarily story based and if we had that grappling hook we can end chapter one immediately Okay, brightness on maximum brightness. I always play my games on maximum brightness to see every detail, tiny detail. 3D audio and the difficulty I'll be using little. So as we can see, all of the difficult difficulty modes here are marked with the plus sign. That means the since it's a new game plus, the difficulty will be automatically increased. So if you're playing on easy mode, that will be on medium and hard mode, automatic on little mode. And little plus, that will be on... I think crushing mode. So dialogue st still the same standard Kurosawa mode, Samurai Cinema. So, uh, I'm still using the subtitle mode like I used to. New horse as promised by Sucker Punch. So we have Kage and Nobu. Uh, I, I remember I used Kage before uh, as my second horse but I never used Nobu so my first horse was Sora. So we only have two horse choices and that's a little bit odd I still love that intro music. It's a total throwback from my previous gameplay from the first time I touch or play this game back in July 17. So we already have a first quest, speak with the mysterious merchant, Baku the Voiceless. So is he somehow related to Baku the Grappler? <laughs> Just kidding. So here, I remember there's a small shrine over here on this rock. A small shrine that is similar to the shrine in the center of Tadayaris Rest where you battled Lady Kaeda in the mythic tale Legend of Tadayori. So yeah, they really removed the shrine here. So that's one of the changes. Uh, maybe we can, we can find some more. Oh yes, yeah, so there's a haiku now here. On the pre pre on my previous playthrough, there's no haiku here, so...
Okay, so I just skipped on that. So we just had or got a ghost flowers. So those ghost flowers are what we used to spend in that mysterious merchant. So new, no other uh, new quest right now. Still the same. The introduction of uh, stealth game gameplay by Yuna and the archery by Sensei Ishikawa. The only added quest is that Echoes Between Worlds, which is simply meeting the mysterious merchant. So let's check on our gears for the weapon Sakai Katana. So what they did here is they add another level of improvement or for the blade. So we can deal even more damage than what we've used to. I've already maximized this uh, katana level back on my previous gameplay, so there's no doubt that level 8 is just an additional upgrade. So for the charms, we still have them all. I still got them all, so nothing's gone, still the same. For the gear, headgear, headdresses, uh, we still, again, of course, we still have them all. Helmets, bandana, anything. The Tengai, the lovely Tengai. Okay, let's check the masks. So, all of the masks are still here. My favorite one is the monkey mask. It is perfect for my favorite attire, Fundoshi. Okay, back to the gear. Let's go straight to the Fundoshi. It is my favorite because aside from its trolling appearance, uh, it's it gives no protection or defenses that it somehow contributes to the difficulty of game battle okay so all of our ammunition are gone so this is the w things that are gone on the new game plus our collected ammunition so we also have the poison dart and hallucination darts already here so we already have the blowgun so i'm wondering if the mission for lady yuriko will still be here because she's the one that introduced the poison darts so let's check the saddles and the accessories so they're all complete here i've i've card i've acquired all of them because i've already collected all the banners and the flute songs since i've done all the singing crickets collectibles so techniques skills we still have them all i've acquired all of them on the previous playthrough okay so for the collection so these are the things that we lost in the new game plus. The collectibles, the vanity gears in our shrines, haiku, shinto shrines, bamboo shrines, hot springs. All of them are gone. So we just have to collect them again. While the artifacts, they're still here. They're all here. I'm just wondering for the records, it's it became 39 over 40. I remember I already completed this and Okay, so let's move on on the satchel. Our resources. So this is these are the other things that are gone on our new game plus. The resources, so we're back to zero. So we just have to collect them again. But one thing's not here, the ghost flowers. You can check your ghost flowers here on the upper right corner. So legends mode are available on the options menu. Right, now we're done with the in-game menu. Let's try the photo mode so what i'm thinking about here is if the flying papers with written japanese characters on them are also available here in the photo mode those particles flying in the home menu back when we're, we were about to choose the uh, legends mode so let's write the summer red to uh, replicate somehow the legends mode appearance so here are the particles come on fireflies dragonflies butterflies crows gross so what's the last one songbirds so there's nothing the flying papers are not here but it's in the home menu or legends mode somehow a bit disappointing that they just did not brought it here while they surely can thunder the weathers are all the same 
same options animated environment on and off character disappearance the same I think this this is new muddy and bloody I'm not sure if this is new maybe I have just not tried it on my previous playthrough okay and the the same sword glint I'm not sure if this is new but I've not tried this before okay I want to try this sword glint okay back on photo mode let's remove this okay so it's this shining sword it's it's the level of shine or re re reflective light reflective of your sword of your sword <laughs> okay that's cool now let's go to the Baku the mysterious merchant oh man I love his mask I want this mask I hope we can acquire it someday who are you All right, let's check what we had in store. Deadly Rivals attire. So this is cool. This is a Rizos outfit. Rizos original outfit. Whoops. So we're having a little bit glitch here. And we're removing Jin. Na 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 na. Archery Masters attire from Sensei Isikawa. Cool. Okay. Dice. Let's just let's just check some new colors for our armor. Oh, this is cool. Is this gold? No, uh, maybe it's bronze or copper color, silver color. Can't say. Oh, that's cool. This looks like a mafia boss. And the autumn, also cool. Lots of autumn flowers. Yusaku armor, nah. Nothing special. And Tadayori's armor. No, this one's cool. This is a pure black and red. Perfect for the. It's perfect for the. Legends mode. Perfect attire for the legends mode. the ghost armor avenging spring is that pink or fuchsia color fuchsia i'm not sure if it's pink fuchsia or red broken armor oh shit this is so cool guys dark survivor with three arrows impaled on Jin's body you're like a zombie here uh uh a dead person came from the dead came back to life from the dead so you're like an undead warrior here feel no pain this is so awesome i want to grab it some sometime and the fondoshi now now we have the fancy fondoshi black dye because uh, before this is only you now on white color available now on the new charms charms Charm of Carnage, all combat is bloodier. So this is uh, just more of the aesthetics effects. Curse of Frailty. I'm getting this. This is cool. Curse, Curse of Frailty. So Iron Will will be disabled. So there's no chance for you to revive yourself if you have died. So this is for additional uh, difficulty. Curse of Misfortune, you will never gain resources from fallen enemies. So this is for the sake of uh, ammunition scarcity for the difficulty of course again curse of exhaustion so your usage of resolve will cost twice as much again for the difficulty Termus steadfast fire so your way of flame will 
take longer to extinguish charm of distraction so this is for buff effects when you revive yourself ghost fury ghostly fury ghost streak will lose only one instead of resetting them all when you had damage so that's it's an additional buff so that's a gain for yourself next one is the charm of heavenly rebuke so lightning strike on the nearest enemy when you perform heavenly strike so this is cool additional buff so i think the effects on this one is just similar to the the one you from the boss where you got the heavenly strike he got struck by lightning and burned to death so that's cool i'm also getting that one so i just have to earn more ghost flowers charm of blazing flame the way of the blazing flame inflicts additional damage heavy attacks spread fire to nearby enemies so additional buffs again so that's a gain on yourself for combat uh combat buff charm of canaan recruitment so guys this is the one that's been uh introduced or uh the fans are <laughs> happy about of having to pet able to pet the enemy dogs it's like having a uh, chop on gta 5 and uh, rex and fallout new vegas and of course dog meat and fallout 3 that's really cool so you'll have you'll now have an animal companion on battles to sneak in enemies and kill them while uh while the dogs are while the dog is biting their throat okay so let's check on the hats okay so they're all the same just uh recolored or reskin this one is cool kitsune straw hat is perfect for the uh, legends mode because of its red color okay, so they're all the same we just uh different colors reskinned Uh, I'm I'm not sure about that. Okay, the masks. Trickster Wolf. So this is also a reskinned or recolored uh, wolf mask. The also this one, the wolf mask we got after uh, acquiring or uh, paying respect to all of the Inari shrines across Tsushima. So Ancient Dragon, the same, just is reskinned and recolored. So it seems that. All of the new masks uh, introduced here or uh, sold here or added to the game are all just uh, reskinned or recolored masks that are already existing from our previous collection of our previous gameplay if ever you had acquired all of the vanity gears across Tsushima. So that's all. I'm wondering if the this... Um, mysterious merchant can rotate his head thank you i mean i mean his his mask like the final boss in borderlands pre-sequel okay so let's see if we all have the stances battle stances okay so we have all these stances from the moon stance wind stance and water stance and of course the first one stone stance so how about the side weapons we have the half bow already blowgun and longbow also the trowel balls well that's hilarious <laughs> it's not holding anything so that's what is caused by drinking too much sake gin so we all have the side weapons now so since we have the half bow longbow and blowgun already it seems that it's already pointless that uh uh or senseless from by having or finishing the quest or introductory quest uh, by sensei ishikawa to introduce the archery and beating the tengu demon in the one of the mythic tale to acquire the longbow and of course the blowgun from old lady yuriko
Okay, let's just take a peek if there's something added or additional to the map. So it seems like nothing. So we're all good. So okay, so all our gears are equipped. Now we're ready to take on our first quest. So my first quest again will also still still be the first quest of Yuna, the introduction of stealth gameplay on how to become an assassin. Okay, so let's go. Wait, there are people in here. All right, and stand off. I wasn't expecting this guys since it's not in the previous playthrough. Alright, so the triangle button is not appearing. Uh, oh shit, man! <laughs> we almost died on that. We almost died on that. Take this. Yeah, baby bloody. So the charm I equipped with the more effects on blood splashing is uh, also cool, very cool. Also, again we are on lethal mode so the H HUD is off. So that's why the whole triangle button did not appear on the standoff unlike uh, what we've used to before. Stand and fight me! Focus. Awesome. Oh shit man. Look at those blood spitting out from this. Shooting out from his throat. Let's just uh, zoom on it. Nope. Seems like the bloods, blood drops are floating. Floating from the ground. Look at that. It's like flakes. Flakes of blood. Solid blood. Floating from the floating on the ground but it's still cool anyway it's really uh, more it's really bloodier than the than my previous playthrough than what I've used to it's really cool guys I'm loving it Wait guys, I'll just try the wind to call the wind. What? There's no wind. That's my kage. So I'll just have to follow the smoke the smoke rising uh, we can see from afar. Well I know the way anyway. Okay, so no one else, I guess. Let's look for more enemies. Oh. <laughs> he did not see me. He just did not see me. Ouch! My god, this little mode, guys, is uh, <laughs> very difficult if if ever you have these low eyes like me it's really hard to to parry quick attacks like that especially the the HID HUD is off alright so here are the gunpowder barrels let's just blow them up And like what I've used to do before, I'm just standing right next to the barrels and blow myself up. OMG! 
This is Warlord Dogger already. It seems like I've got to meet him right now uh, very quick. I remember on my previous playthrough, I've fought tons of enemies before him appearing as the first boss I encountered. So the good thing is we already have the water stance here because the last time I fought him I already I only have the stone stance so With the water stance it is easier to fight Mongol leaders since they only use all of them only oh. All of them are all using shield and sword Nothing else. Ah, sorry guys. But I'll of course uh, do better next time. We won't take a chance now. Warlord Dogger. So again the the trick for using water stance with shield shield wielding sorry shield wielding enemies is spawn the triangle button to drain their stamina okay let's do the finisher Sweet. Alright, so we are rewarded with ghost flowers. Since we can no longer gain experience points, uh, vanity gears, uh, and skills, we are rewarded of ghost ghost flowers instead, which we use to purchase special items or new items from the from Baku, the mysterious merchant. Well, it seems like on the on our new game plus entire gameplay, we will be earning only ghost flowers since we can no longer earn EXP points since we already acquired all of the ab abilities we needed. Uh, so I guess there will be no point on acquiring EXP points again. So let's do the quest. War is code with Yuna. So this is also the first quest I took when I had on my first playthrough. So back on the ghost flowers. I mean, it is the only thing that we will be earning from the entire gameplay. But aside from that, we will we can earn again self-satisfactory or experience. It's like Traveling back in time when Jin knows nothing of his fate, but we know already all the things that will happen, the things that will happen to his friends, to his uncle, how we're, how his uncle will treat him, will love him, and also how the people of Tsushima will treat him as a hero or something else. Tatsuna. You found me. You handle that well. 
I should have heard him coming. Let myself get distracted. These people saw Mongols marching prisoners upriver. They had a blacksmith with them. Your brother? Sounds like it. They were taking him to a camp near the Canada Inlet. I know the place. Did you find any samurai to free your uncle? Not yet, but I'm still searching. I'm sure you'll find someone soon. Haka can help you, after we save him. Hard to believe I might see him soon. He's lucky to have you. He might disagree. That's what siblings are for. What about you? Any brothers or sisters? Lord Shimura is my only family. What will you do when he's free? Take a breath. Because then I'll know there's hope for our island. You feel that strongly? I've watched him win victory against impossible odds. And after your brother is free, what then? Honestly, I haven't had time to think about it. You're riding well. How are your wounds? Mostly healed. Your bandages did the trick. You don't share much about how you feel. I suppose you're right. My uncle taught me that a samurai masters his emotions, like you master a horse, or a blade. That's a hard way to live. It's not supposed to be easy. There's a spot up ahead that overlooks the river. Should give us a good view of the Mongol camp. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> I'm sorry, horse. Forgive me. All right, so here we are on the spot viewpoint. Tough to get inside. The Mongols threw that place together in days. There has to be a way in. Let's look. We need to reach Taka. Without putting him in danger. We'll find a safe approach. Defenses in back are formidable. You could scale the rocks on that side. If they're loose, they might give way. Alert the guards. The front wall there is still under construction. Could be a way in. We can look for a gap in the front wall. Slip inside. And cut down the Mongols where they stand. If something goes wrong, they'll kill the prisoners. I've seen them do it. We have to go in quietly. Like thieves. What's wrong with that? Before the samurai, this island was ruled by criminals. We changed that by creating order and delivering justice in the open. We live by a code of honor. And sometimes we die by it. Warriors like my father, who just wanted to give us a safer home. I want the same thing, but we have to fight back. I promised my uncle I'd never break our code. Then bend it. To save my family. And what's left of yours. Let's get a closer look. See what we're up against. We should wait until it gets darker. Oh wow, there's a uh, there's an option to it's skip enough. cutscenes now. Well, it's a good thing and it's logical because we already know what's about to happen in every cutscene. Well, unlike in the first timers or first time playing this game, you have no choice to skip the cutscene because, of course, the the developers wants you to see every scene they captured or they made through here right let's skip this thing because it's just an it's a it's just a tutorial on how to stealth stealth kill
What do you think, Jin? The bear's running with a limp. Your arrow wounded him. This is when a beast is most dangerous. Remain alert. Yes, uncle. Keep after him. I didn't think bears lived here. They don't. But the fighting in Yarikawa drove some this way. So it's the rebels' fault. We should feed them to this bear as punishment. We are not barbarians, Jim. The bear stumbled here. Is it dying? No. But we're getting closer. Stay ready, Jim. Yes, Uncle. If it's still alive, can I take the shot? Prove you can control your emotions. Then, perhaps... We got him! Careful! He could still be alive. This arrow should not have killed him. Look, Uncle. There's a gash in his side. Not from an arrow. An assassin! From Yarikawa! Traitor! You would stab the stone in the back! Ozakai! Control yourself. We are not criminals like this man here. We are samurai. He tried to kill you! He must answer for this crime with his life. Don't look him in the eye. And teach him that samurai never acts out of anger or fear. And take his life with honor. When we fight, we face our enemy head on. And when we take their life, we look them in the eye with courage and respect. This is what makes us samurai. Only cowards strike from the shadows. On the first playthrough, I really had no idea what Yarikawa is. So I have no idea that uh, Yarikawa and Clan Shimura are not in very good relations. Jin, what's wrong? Let's find your brother. We can't let them see us. Use all your senses. Think and move like a thief. So now it's time to slay. Well, the animation is, is still the same. On how the enemies drop their, their weapons attached from their back when you are committing assassination and they're suddenly standing Boink. <laughs> the animation are still the same I just don't like it so Let's check. Let's get some supplies. I'm just not uh, very amazed of the animation for assassination. Let's try to shoot this. Since we have the longbow heavy arrow now, and all the skills, archery skills, it is a lot easier now to infiltrate. Infiltrate enemy comps even on the beginning of the game even on the very start of the game like this very first mission well I just regret uh, shooting arrows to shooting heavy arrow to the Mongol leader I should have supposed to do the slaughter or the beheading of Mongol leader I should have tried that instead well watch this guys if the enemy will still drop 
his shield. <laughs> Funny animations. Is that? No. Oh, good. Offered you death, but you have chosen death. So okay, so let's just check more supplies. I think there's there's a Mongol artifact here before or Mongol lead, Mongol records, but since they were not removed from our collection, maybe of course they're gone there. How did you get in here? We need to go. We'll talk when it's safe. Come on. Let's get to the river. We'll be safe there. Let's Are just cover Jin in mud. I was. Cut ties with the man. There you go. On rations. Lord Shimura has been captured. Dirty little man. To free him. Are you looking for work? No. But the other straw hats may be. Last I heard, they were hunting Mongols in Tsitsu Prefecture, by the coast near the Kishi grasslands. This way. We're looking for my brother, a blacksmith named Taka. Don't know him, but a lot of prisoners move through here. You said they were moving the slaves. Where? They mentioned Asimo Bay. And there was a blacksmith in the last group. Young man with a beard. From Yarikawa, maybe. You'd better be right. I hope you find your blacksmith. Taka's alive in Asmo Bay. The town is surrounded by walls. Rushing in without a plan will only put him in more danger. I have a friend who might be able to get us inside. Find him. The sooner we rescue Taka, the sooner we save my uncle. Jin, Taka will forge whatever tool you need as soon as he's free. But after that, we're leaving the island. You've seen what the Mongols are doing here. Lord Shimura can stop them. Stay. Help us fight for a home. Home is wherever Taka and I go. My friend lives in Asmo Prefecture, on the border with Tsutsu. I'll find you there. I know this wasn't easy. Going against your code. I did what I had to. Thank you. Lord Shimura. You deserve better than this. Convince your people to stop resisting, and you can walk free. Stop wasting my time. Kill me. Mm, you think you've lost everything. But your nephew is still alive. <laughs> my men control the roads. They build war camps near your towns. They see everything, and they will find him. Lord Sakai will fight until his last breath, as will I. You love him, just as you love your people. You're a father to them. Will you abandon your children? I won't make them your slaves. I'm really tempted to skip that cutscene, but I think there's someone that might want to see that scene in this video. 
so that's it guys that ends the video for today and again we received ghost flowers as reward for this mission so thank you guys for watching i hope you subscribe on my channel if you still haven't to so you could see my future videos all about gaming that has anything to do about gaming also change the notification bell to all so you won't miss any of my future uploads thank you thank you sayonara